The sports facility is the first of its kind in the Limpopo province. The great Zanin municipality is enjoying the perks of it. Firstly, we've got a swimming pool off the top of the range. The swimming pool that we have built in the province, we are the only one. And we are also very proud of it because it's also going to encourage our sports uh, people within our area of jurisdiction. Yeah, another sports facility that we're having that we just recently opened is the indoor and outdoor sports center in Nguangua Sea. Wherein we are going to have many, many activities that is going to take place. It's also a, a, a sports facility of its own kind. The project consists of two centres, the Tanin Public Swimming Pool and the Ngoa Multi Sports Centre and was officially opened last month. Oh, the facility is great. Uh, um, while they were waiting for machinery operation inside the hall, but I can say so far so good. We are enjoying everything that we are having. We are, uh, there's a free chance for us to go to the municipality and book the place. Everyone can use it at any given time, so I can say yeah. We really enjoy the place. Even before the centre was inaugurated, it had trained 17 people from the community. These people are now training learners at various local schools. I'm glad we also have something now that will contribute in our community and also benefit our children. And having a tuck shop here at Section C, it will also help benefit my business. Over 13 million rands has been spent on both of these centres so far and one hopes they prove to be worthy of the investment. While the middle and upper class take electricity for granted, in the poorer communities it has now become a lifeline. Lemohan Fouke reporting for SA Decides, Tanin.